Hi guys and welcome to TechBased. In this video, we're going to talk about the latest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel, which is the build 23,440. In this video, as always, we're going to talk about what is new, what has changed, and also what is fixed in this newest Windows 11 Insider preview build for the dev channel. And this build is quite an exciting one because it has a few interesting features. If you enjoy videos like these, please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the TechBased channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one. Before starting the video, a quick message from our video sponsor. This video is sponsored by CDKs.top. CDKs.top is a platform where you can get Windows and Office licenses at a very good price. For example, you can get the Windows 11 Pro license for just $19 by using the coupon code TB01, which will bring you a 30% discount. Office licenses also have a very good price and when using the coupon code TB01, you get an even better price. Check out the great deals from CDKs.top in the links from the description below and don't forget to apply the coupon code. Thank you to CDKs.top for the sponsorship. Let's continue with the video. First of all, regarding the start menu, Microsoft is trying out a recommendation in the start menu to quickly access the release notes for Windows Insider preview builds. Insiders can click the recommendation and start where it will open the blog post for that certain build to learn about all the changes and improvements included in the build. And as you can see, it is right here. If you click on it, it will be opened up in your default browser and you can have access to the release notes of that certain build. I think this is pretty useful. Regarding the taskbar and system tray, you can now hide the time and date in the system tray. You can turn this on by right clicking on the system tray clock and choosing adjust date and time. Of course, because I already have it hidden, I'm going to have to go into the settings app, then date and time settings. And I'm going to have here a setting hide date and time in the system tray. Turn this on to hide your time and date information in the corner of your taskbar. If I turn it off, I'm going to be able to see my date and time. If I right click on it and then click on adjust date and time, I can turn it on again. Also, when right clicking on the network icon in the system, System tray, Microsoft added the option to diagnose network problems. I think this is also pretty useful. Also, Microsoft added this new option officially in the taskbar settings, open search on hover when available, and they also moved the search section where you choose how the search looks on the taskbar in a different setting. Well, they officially announced it, but then they disabled the feature because there are some issues with it. Basically, if you have the Bing search enabled, it won't really work, but as you can see, it works quite well depending on where you are hovering over. In this case if I'm hovering over the ping icon it's opening up on hover so I think that is pretty good yeah this is an option that could be useful for some people but of course it can be always turned off Microsoft also updated the icon that shows on the desktop for Windows Spotlight you can turn on Windows Spotlight by right clicking on your desktop choosing personalize and then choosing the spotlight theme and if I'm choosing it you're gonna see this new icon and also the old settings as for new features in this build this is all there is to it but now let's talk about a few fixes regarding the task and system tray Microsoft fixed a few Explorer.exe crashes that were impacting taskbar reliability regarding widgets. Microsoft updated the widgets invocation logic so that if you brush your mouse quickly across the widgets icon in the taskbar while traveling somewhere else, it should be less likely to accidentally open widgets. Regarding the file explorer, Microsoft fixed the following issues for insiders previewing the Windows app SDK version of the file explorer. Basically, those of you who have this pizza icon on the file explorer, they fixed an issue where the context menu was opening far away from where your mouse had right clicked sometimes fixed an issue which was causing some of the icons in the file explorer and the context menu to be blurry after dpi changes fixed an issue where the new button in the command bar might not show anything in the drop down for the gallery in file explorer control plus mouse wheel scrolling should now resize the thumbnails and also for recommended files in file explorer made some improvements to how narrator reads out the recommended files and also for insiders with access keys in the file explorer shift plus right click on the file or folder should open the show more options again now and also adjusted how narrator was reading out the access keys after pressing the menu key to make it clearer regarding search fix an issue where the cursor wasn't displaying correctly in the search box when using an arabic display language and regarding notifications they fixed an issue where 2fa codes weren't being recognized if they were in parentheses regarding the task manager double click the task manager's title bar to maximize the window should work again now and also fix a task manager crash which is impacting insiders in the last couple flights this is not the whole list of fixes there are way more fixes but i tried to choose the ones that were more impactful and interesting so if you want to see the whole list of fixes and known issues in this build you can check out the article below in the video's description if you enjoyed this video please don't forget to leave a like below and also subscribe to the tech base channel with the notification bell activated so that you won't miss any future uploads like this one i was Manu from TechBase. Until next time, have a nice day.